On this diesel engine you cannot find the throttle body, however there is a throttle position sensor which will regulate a lot of other electronics relating to the running of the engine and it will basically sense how much you press on the acceleration pedal since you've got this acceleration cable connected directly to the pedal. So for example if the engine doesn't want to accelerate when you press on the pedal and you know that everything else is fine then you might have to test the throttle position sensor which is basically a potentiometer. So one of the first tests you want to do is to see if the physical connection between the pedal and the sensor is there. So just press on the acceleration pedal and you should see the sensor move and you should have a good response of the engine when you press on the pedal and obviously you want to see that it is calibrated because like right now I begin to press and the sensor is also moving but if for example you press a little bit and nothing happens and then you press more and then the sensor moves then you've got to calibrate it from the wiring connection down there if you twist from this point the wire will be pulled or if you release it then the wire will be released as well so that's how you can calibrate it quite easy you can do that with a 13 millimeter socket as you can see since i'm going to use a voltmeter i will take out the sensor from here with a 10 millimeter socket you've got two nuts here And now we get a better access to the connector. So I've got the keys in the second position and you can begin to back probe. So we've got a good ground. If you look from this side, you've got pin number one, two, three, and then four, the pink and yellow one, five in the middle and six down here. Right now I connect it to the pin number four and Let's see, together with the pin number 5, you can see a voltage, 0 0.14. And if I move the throttle position sensor, the voltage is increasing, which means that at least one of the signal is correct to the computer, or at least there is a signal to the computer. So here we go, 2.35. Let's see for the next one. Next one we've got 0 0.16. On full throttle we've got 2.32 so moving further from pin number 4 and pin number 5 we've got again the signal pin number 5 and pin number 3 we've got the signal and pin number 4 and pin number 1 again and now the sensor is responding with a lot more range wide range we've got from 0.3 volts to 4.6 so as you can see the sensor has different ways of telling to the computer what's the position of this acceleration wire if this pin number three is for the sensor and as you can see the five volts reference will not change when you press on the acceleration pedal because it has to be constant so in order for this sensor to read, it needs to be supplied with 5 volts all the time. Like for example, if I take out the connector and test the resistance on the ohmmeter, then you will not see any change because the sensor is not supplied with 5 volts. Now let's say you want to replace this sensor, you gotta press on these two tabs. Also, you gotta pry out this bulb from here. You gotta press on these two tabs and the sensor is out. And this is the part number if you need it. All right, so that was pretty much it about the acceleration pedal position sensor. If you have this car, check out the other videos I made about it in the playlist. And if you want to really help me out, click that subscribe button as well. It will motivate me to make more in detailed and advanced videos in the future about how to repair the engine, the transmission and stuff like that. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.